thought we'd just film some short videos to show you how things normally work at the Holgate Academy. So, when you come to school um, for your first day in September, uh, we'd like you to come in through the main site at Hillcrest, which is obviously behind me, um, and your teachers will uh, welcome you in, bring you into school from here. Uh, this is one of three entrances into the Holgate Academy, but like I say, on September, on your first day, please meet us here. We've come in through the main gates at Hillcrest um, and we want you to come in through reception. Uh, well, we'll take you into the main hall where myself and other members of staff will be waiting. Okay, so behind me is the quad. Uh, the quad area is one of the um, two areas for eating in school, but for you guys, for the first few days at least, you'll be spending your social time, so your break time and your lunch times, in the quad, which is the area behind me. that we have in school. We have one here near Hillcrest Canteen and one down at Nabs uh, near Nabs Canteen. Um, and in normal circumstances, this is where you put your money onto your school account to be able to purchase your food and drink at the Holgate Academy. So on the screen, what you normally do is you normally place your finger onto um, the digital source here and it will tell you how much money you have on your account and you'll be able to pay some money in. Obviously, with the current situation with COVID-19, um, that might not be possible in September. We might have a new way for you to obviously purchase the food, but in normal circumstances, this is one of the things that you use. Okay, so all of the um, classrooms in school and areas in school are um, labelled. So as you can see, I'm still at Hillcrest, um, where I've just filmed um, for uh, the squid machine and I'm standing outside of C Block. So C Block at Hillcrest is part of the maths department um, and it's also where my office is found. So if you follow me, I'll take you through to my office. So just here, just behind me, is where you'll find uh, my office. So very, very close to where you'll be for uh, the first few days of school, uh, very, very close to the quad, um, and this is my office. As you can see behind me is the quad, um, and I'm just gonna walk you through to student services. So just follow me. Make sure the stand doesn't fall over as it's filming me going backwards. So, as you can see, nice and close to the quad area of student services. Uh, student services behind me, so follow me inside. So here I am at student services. Um, student services have members of staff in here at all times. Um, and student services is key to you guys. So the following things can be done at student services. So if you need to uh, buy some new equipment because your equipment's been lost or um, it's just stopped working in school, you can come to student services. Um, student services is the place to come if you need to get a new timetable. Um, it's also the place to come if you've got a problem with your uniform. So let's just say, for example, um, you need to borrow a piece of um, uniform, student services is the place to come to. And also if you need to speak to parents, for whatever reason, um, student services again is the place to come to because we know that we can't have our mobile phones on when we come into the academy site. So student services, very, very close to my office, very, very close to um, where we're going to be spending the first few days in school and absolutely key for you guys. Okay, so um, in the same building as student services, uh, we have the attendance office and obviously the attendance administrator will be in here. Um, if you have arrived late to school for whatever reason, you need to come here to get yourself signed in so that we know you're here. And if you're leaving school for whatever reason, this is the place you need to come to so you can get a sign in out slip. So as you can see, I'm now stood on uh, the runway at school, which is the area between Hillcrest where we've just been and Nabs, which is behind me. So some of your lessons um, will be at Hillcrest and some of them will be at Nabs. Um, the majority will be at Hillcrest come September, um, but this is obviously the area that takes you from Hillcrest to Nabs. And just remember, we've got that five minute change over time uh, between our lessons to get us to there on time. 
So, um, when it comes to going to your lessons, uh, we aren't able to go through main buildings, main through main reception, so I'm just going to walk you through to one of the science classrooms so we can have a look in there. So, when we've walked past student services, you come to this first gate and this first gate is going to take you past some of the um, new science buildings. So, behind me is science. Okay, so I've just walked past the new science block. Uh, to my other side is the old science block, so uh, you might have science in one of the two blocks, but in terms of where we are, if you just walk down that way, that's the main site into the school building. So this is the way that some of you might come into your lessons or alternatively leave school at the end of the day. Just to finalise that loop, we've obviously just come past the science blocks, this is the way that you'll leave the school site through these gates at the end of the day. Here I am um, in another maths um, area, so I'm in HD1. Um, we're aware that the transition days in July aren't going to be going ahead and you guys haven't had the opportunity to have a look at a normal whole gate classroom. So here I am in the classroom. Um, this is the door that you'd be um, welcomed in from by the teacher um, from outside to come in to the classroom. So here I am in Hillcrest Reception, which is going to be the last place um, for the videos for today. So I hope you'll find um, the videos useful in terms of giving you a little bit of a taste and a virtual tour around the school. It's difficult when you can't come into school and see um, the buildings and the canteen and the quad area, so hopefully these videos will be helpful. We really look forward to seeing you in September um, and as soon as we get any more information in terms of how September will look and if we can provide any transition um, extra days then we'll obviously let you know through the Transition 2020 section on the school website uh, which obviously is updated um, regularly and also via my WeDuck message on a Thursday that we're hoping to carry on sending through the summer term. So take care everybody and stay safe.